This is the Independence Community Dog Park booth, and we are within about $300 now of having raised enough funds to build the large dog park fence. So we're excited. We'll have some other things to do next year, but hopefully before the end of October, we will have the fencing up. And, uh, so far, the Hop Festival has been very good to us. Uh, I'm Robin Puccetti, and I work with the City of Independence, and I volunteer with the Community Dog Park. All right, well, my name's Alex Trevino. I'm actually involved with the uh, uh, the River's Edge Summer Series and uh, um, I've been uh, coming to Hop and Heritage uh, Festival for uh, for numerous years now and and uh, it's a great event. Um, used to actually help out when it first started. Um, it was kind of the uh, litter patrol way back in the day when they needed volunteers, but I've been absent, but uh, actually this is one of the first years I've actually come out here to enjoy it, and they've done a phenomenal job. Um, uh, the the Hop and Heritage uh, Board has done a great job putting this event on again this year, and I'm just happy just to be here to enjoy it. I'm John Whitmire, and I'm opening up the Independence Hops and Barrel House this October, hopefully October 13th, but as you can see, it's things are coming along nicely and steady. How long have you been in this area? I've lived in Independence about 10 years, and uh, I just fell in love about my first house here and fell in love with the town. Barrel houses back in the day were kind of a place where regular Joes could go, you know, tap a barrel, hang out in the barn, drink, have fun, be merry, play bands, would come. Really homey place for everyone. Just I'm Marie Trickle, I'm the executive director of the nonprofit Small Business Incubator and in Independence. This is my third year of doing the Hop and Heritage Festival. I was on the committee and was put in charge of the information booth. What we're doing different this year is we have some people that are going to rove the crowd and have aprons on that say, ask me for information about the Hop and Heritage um, event so that strangers that might be in town and aren't sure where to go or what to do or what we're offering can, can get the information that they need, sort of hospitality at the event. Oh, we're we selling uh, popcorn with the Cub Scouts okay. today. And if they don't, How many years have you done that? Uh, oh, we have sold uh, popcorn here. This is our third year. But I've been coming to the festival since it first started. It's a blast. Me too. It's the only yeah, festival I know where they close down the main street. I see him on Facebook. My name is Eric Vineyard, and I'm the Bear Cub Scout Den Leader. Tell me your name. Eli Vineyard, and I'm the Bear Scout. Wow. I'm also a cookie judge here at the Hoppin Heritage Festival. I did that last year, and I understand there are only a few categories of cookies this year, and uh, there are ten uh, cookies to judge. So we have four judges, who will, so we'll assemble in just a few minutes to do that part of it. My name is Buzz Brazo. I'm the superintendent of the Central School District here in the Monmouth Independence area. And it's been my pleasure to be involved. This is my first year in the area, and it's been my pleasure to be involved not only in the planning of the Hops Festival, but in in uh, also working with the Ghost Walk. I was a ghost host last evening, and today I've been involved kind of in the background, uh, assisting throughout the day, and of course had the opportunity to judge the cookie eating contest and here shortly the uh, pie eating contest. What do you think of the festival so far? Well, it's wonderful. You know, I mean, I've, I've here, we've been in town, I think, uh, three four months and I think there's been at least three different celebrations so the people around here enjoy getting together enjoy one another and it's just wonderful to see this. Where do you come from? Uh, actually we moved here from uh, Hermiston. We're in Hermiston for eight years. Uh, used to live in the Portland area and then we're 12 years down in Medford but uh, just have recently come from Eastern Oregon. All right thank you. My name is Jamie and we're um, doing the cookie bake-off at Independence Hops and Heritage Festival. And we have four categories, the drop category, the rolled cookie category, um, bars, and then an other for something that just doesn't quite fit. Our judges today are Jan Stover, Buzz Raza is this one, Debbie Bach, and Dave Mark. What's that? Georgia's a girl! I'm rooting for the two girls. What's your name? Kennedy and you are? Amanda. Amanda. Go Kennedy. Go Amanda. Show these boys what it's all about. Hands behind your back. Who's ready? Parents, who's ready to watch them? First off, let's thank Ovenberg for donating the pies. Who's going to win a free 
Three Pies! Yeah. Are you guys ready? Yeah! On your marks! Oh wait, hold on, stand up. Get set! Are you ready, Kennedy? Are you ready? Everyone ready? Go, 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 go! Eat that pie! Come on! Go, 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 go! Eat it! Pass it, you can! Come on, Kennedy! Take your face out there and eat it! There you go! Look at that! There we go! Don't go! You have the tap, don't you? Keep Yeah. 